on this. To Asia now, where the group stages of this year's AFC Champions League concluded in midweek. Among the teams vying for a place in the last 16 were Iran's most successful side, the Settlers. They travelled to Dubai to play Al Shabab for their final Group D game, eager for the point they needed to reach the knockout phase. Without a win in the competition so far and already eliminated, Al Shabab struck first. This free kick from Essa Mohammed, putting the home side into a surprise early lead. It sparked the Settlers into life though, and just before half time, the travelling fans were celebrating as Ayman Zaid equalised with his fifth group stage goal. As nine times winners of the Iranian National League, the Tehran based club have failed to match that success on the continent. Their 1991 Asian Cup Winners' Cup triumph, their only success away from their own country. Pia Persepolis proved too strong for their opponents. Merdad Puladi's free kick put them ahead for the first time. And Hossein Badamaki's goal in Scottish time sealed their progression. Saudi Arabian's Al Halal joined them in qualification from Group D. They sealed top position and home advantage in the one-legged last 16 ties after a 2-1 win against Qatar's Al Garafa. Guangzhou Evergrande were the only Chinese team left with any hope of making it through. They travelled to Thailand to play Bururam United for their final Group H game with their chances in the balance. Leading to win at the Thunder Castle Stadium, they took the lead just after half-time through Gao Lin. But Bururam, who still had a chance of going through themselves, equalised when Zheng Zhi's weak header set up Surya Dom Tai Song to make it 1-1 just short of the hour mark. However, with seconds left, Brazilian Cleo was bundled over by Surat Suka in the area. An Argentine, Dario Conca, playing despite being banned for nine matches by his club for criticising coach Li Jiang Su, dispatched the penalty. It sent the ambitious Chinese club into the last 16 as group winners on goals scored. That result meant elimination for 2011 AFC Champions League runners-up John Book Motors. They were beaten 2-0 at home to Japanese champions Kashiwa Reisol, who went through in second place. Adelaide United will fly the Australian flag in the knockout phase after navigating their way through Group E. They'd already confirmed their progress before their trip to Gamba Osaka, but were eager to grab top spots. The J-League side had already been eliminated, However, they frustrated their visitors for more than an hour before Dutch striker Sergio van Dijk scored for Adelaide. This own goal from Akiro Sato three minutes from time sealed the victory and confirmed the A-League side as group winners. How ironic it would be. Elsewhere, a 1-0 win saw Bunyodko of Uzbekistan qualify at the expense of Pohang Steelers. Adelaide were runners up in the AFC Champions League in 2008 and will now hope to go on to become the first Australian team to win it. All the last 16 fixtures are one off ties played over the next fortnight, with each group winner handed home advantage. Persepolis travel to Saudi Arabia to play two times winners Al Ittihad on Tuesday. Next week, Adelaide will host Nagoya Grampus while Guangzhou will entertain FC Tokyo.